This is my block that I live on in Soho in New York City and I live on the sixth floor of a walk-up which means I have no elevator for non-New Yorkers. Walk-up is a kiss of death. I've always wanted to be a writer. It's the only thing that's ever brought me real, true happiness. So I turned my apartment into a writing office. I worked on a novel for close to three years, but I can't stomach the idea of endless rejection that goes with that route. So I wrote another novel and I'm going to publish it on Amazon. It's called Flicking Boogers in the Wind. Writing is not enough. I have a ping pong bar that pays my rent. Friday nights we have a special event, so I'm gonna go pick up my girlfriend. And we're gonna go to the Dirty Dozen. This is like a video game. <laughs> Amazing drive. Whoa. Where are you from? Ghana, Africa. What are the rules for driving in Ghana? <laughs> no. It's Friday night. Our big event, the Dirty Dozen, is beginning in moments. It's the essence, the soul of our ping pong club. This is my favorite, favorite event. Here we are. Are you Susan Schwinn? Yes. Very cool. Honor to meet you, man. I really enjoy your work. Spin was mine and Frank's idea. We opened this place five years ago with the help of Susan and Andrew, our other two partners. Financially, the place makes millions of dollars, but ultimately that money doesn't go into my pocket. Because it's going to mine. <laughs> yeah, I have too many partners, basically. Were you happy with that? I'm very happy. Just getting a logo. <laughs> Susan is much older than me and much more successful. It's probably because of that that I've been referred to as her toy boy from the very beginning. Strangely, age is not the issue. It's the success that creates some trouble for me. That was awesome. Renee, this is Brigitte. Hi. Hi. She's getting me ready for me to be the editor of Time Out. I thought because you were a movie star, you just woke up and had your hair and makeup done every day. That's not how it works. The streets are lined with gold wherever you go, and you look perfect. <laughs> You're not resting on your laurels of your book having Come out. been so successful so far. Yeah, my massive success. I ordered a copy, but I haven't gotten it yet. I got it. Here it is. Susan got it already. She has preferential treatment with Amazon, as well as the rest of the world. I've always felt embarrassed for you that you were dating me or associated to me in public. No. I am, a little bit. Really? Why? Yeah. Well, because I look like a little kid, and uh, I'm not notable for anything, and people expect a lot from you. They feel like you should be dating, you know, someone fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about couch surfing is uh, you can't be allergic to cats. Brooklyn over here is fucking dander. I don't know what to do. I'm about to leave. I'm about to get out of here. Because the young niggas offer me her festive, wonderful couch, but I can't take the cat. Love cats. I hate their fur. Got a lot of free time to just walk around <laughs> until you're waiting for shows to happen when the sun goes down. So just walking around New York City. Just left Chinatown. Where will I go next? I don't fucking know. Everybody of all colors, shapes, and sizes coming out. And you think that you can do something that they can't do. Will I make it? Yes. Eventually? Yes. It's gonna hurt, of course. But I'll do it, right? My friends call me delusional. <laughs> All I know is I thank God for let me be able to tell them. I keep doing it. The only way you lose is if you quit. The only way you lose. We will be ready in about three minutes. All right, I'm coming. And now, please help me welcome your host. Clap it up for Derek King. 
There we go. Ladies, how you doing? Coming out, arms crossed, on the defensive, judging. <laughs> judging motherfuckers. <laughs> we did everything in our power to keep white people cool with the idea of us being legal. Like, we took a whole lot of shit and made it cool in order for y'all to go, ah, the blacks being free. Like, we gave y'all jazz concerts, uh, peanut butter. <laughs> we took fat white women off your hands, like, you know. Fair <laughs> game, everybody. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's how the hustle works, man. I gotta take this back to Philly to go back into Jersey, come right back to New York tomorrow. God damn, it was a fun week in New York. I on stage every night, twice. You gotta come to the realization like, man, damn. I washed my clothes twice over. I gotta go home, I gotta re-up. Sleep in my own bed, shower in my own tub. There it is, that's my crib. It's gonna get cold. You really need the other person for body heat. I'm gonna be sleeping naked next to someone I don't know. This is the backdrop of my my room inside my mom's house. Yeah. It's bad. But it's it's my it's my personal kingdom. Dark blue walls, so it's easy to sleep. A nice old school television. Sneakers. 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 What am I working for? All new sneakers. Can I help that I like clothes? Let me be Julia Roberts like, without the prostitution thing. Let me go into a store with a credit card and buy up whatever the fuck I want to wear because that's what you want to do. I want girls to be like, why is he amazing? And why can't my man be like Derek Gaines? <laughs> I want to be a walking Ocean's Eleven movie because all them motherfuckers are smooth. Like if I can be a smooth like Ocean's Eleven type black dude comic that's saying the fly shit, That'll be a good take. This is how I get ready for my Skype audition. I eat some peanut butter. And then I check myself out. See how pretty I look. Mm, yeah, I'm gorgeous. I think that's a nice perspective on the spiral staircase in the background. I'm gonna have to lock my dogs up though. Oh, look who's excited to see you. You look very handsome. You look very nice too. Oh, I've been wanting to do this all day. What time is your doctor's appointment on Tuesday? I don't know yet. I'm gonna call Genesis tomorrow and take care. So, Stefano and I are trying to get pregnant. A few months went by and nothing. I got checked out, everything was fine, and the next step was to get him checked out. We found out that he has varicoli. It's like a varicose vein in your testicles. There is a surgery to correct this issue in his balls. It just sucks a little bit because you would think, okay, let's just get pregnant, that should be easy. And that's not easy. How do you feel that we're not pregnant? Great. Really? Yep. Yeah. That's my husband's response to not being pregnant. Lena, you know that's not how I feel. So I'm asking you how you feel. I don't want to answer you. Why? Because I don't like you. Why don't you like me? They're not nice. And you don't think you could be a little more sensitive? I'm very sensitive. To me? Sensitive. To me and my needs? I didn't bring you home food and you're not feeling well. I didn't take you grocery shopping last night. Like, do I ever, is there ever anything that I do in this relationship that's good? Are we gonna be nice in the party? Probably not. Are you gonna ignore me? Probably. So I'll ignore you right back. In two months, I'll know this woman for you. We have slept apart from each other. Are you? Like, yes. Maybe yeah. twice. I can't be without her. Bridal shower. I was wasted. My brother had to drive the girls to my sister's bridal shower, and then in the afternoon I had to pick them all up. So when he gets back, he's like, Stephanie, this is still big boobies at the party. And then 
He said big tits. So I get out of the car and I see. He sees books. <laughs> I give her a ride home, she gives me a number, but I don't call her. I guess a week before my sister's wedding, I'm out on a date with a whore. I'm going out to smoke a cigarette, and Nina tackles me. <laughs> and I guess that from the next day, ever since we've been together. Every day. Every day. So you've never been to this? See the hunger? I've never seen The Hunger, no. Um, I've seen your scene in montages. Your, the scene. I've seen the, the scene. scene. Um, I haven't seen it in many, many years. Well, I hope you don't feel too uncomfortable when I'm um, making love with Katrine. Uncomfortable, hardly, yeah. hardly. My boys, when they saw a screening when they did it, <laughs> Jack said, and I guess he was about 11, he said, did it never occur to you that you might have children? <laughs> so this is at MoMA, like in the actual gallery? Or I don't, I honestly, I don't know. I'm a little behind on what exactly it is, except it's supposed to be edgy. You it's bring edge to a party. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. Is that Sam Shepard? Oh, I ran into him the other day here. I'm really tired. You want me to slap you around? Unless you want to get slapped back. <laughs> you look very nice. Thank you. This is a typical date night with Susan and I and hundreds of her adoring fans. At least tomorrow we're going to the only place in the world where we can get some peace and quiet. I'm sitting on a rock next to the lake in Maine where Susan lives and her father lived before her heaven to get away from New York City and unplug. Where are we going? <laughs> We're going on the lake. Wait, I want to smoke a joint. I think it goes well with canoeing. I'm a big fan of these rolling papers, Randy's, because they have the little wire. It feels like one of the most brilliant inventions ever, right after the canoe. Fire. Fire is important also. I think it's important to get in the canoe. Almost done. So impatient. You don't have to smoke the entire thing. You could but save some. But we're rushing some. to what? Go get in the canoe and do nothing? No, I was just getting a little bored with your joint dissertation, honestly. This is going to be a luxurious canoe ride for you. How would you have it? Oh, thank you. Jeff, I want you to meet Susan Saranzen. Hi. Well, you want to go fishing? We're going to go fishing later if you want to go. Are you? Where is it? Where right are you? Right from your place. Oh. <laughs> That's the best place on the lake. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Is there anywhere in the world that you can go and be anonymous and not be recognized? Yeah. Where? I don't know, but I'm sure. <laughs> Everywhere we go, people love Susan. and constantly are telling her that. Does that bother me? No, it doesn't bother me. I think it's fucking fantastic. It's money, really, is my problem. Lack of money compared to hers makes me feel, dare I say, inadequate, but it's just, uh, I need more of it or else our relationship is just too unbalanced in that sense. Like, I, I pay for the cheap meals, say breakfast or lunch, and she pays for the dinners. Um, you know, that can only go for so long. I, I need my own house, and quite frankly, I'd like a plane, too. 
So what's on deck the rest of the week? You said you got a busy week. You're staying in the city the rest of the week, right? Yeah, I got to book a few couches. Hopefully Monroe's open for a couch. Got Tom Cassidy for a couch. You do realize I hate when you couch surfing. Mom, I, hate I don't it. have it. I don't have a spot yet. No, you know. You don't have no joke out of that yet. I do, but it, it's still a work it's of progress. It's not funny yet. It's not funny yet. <laughs> it's not funny it's not, yet. It's not funny yet because I'm in it. I've said it before and it's actually worked. Like, hey, I'm a couch surfer. And to be honest with you, a couch surfer is two, st is a two steps and a cough away from being homeless. I know that's right. Because if your friends don't pick up that phone, ugh, you homeless. <laughs> uh, well, but we have a good week. Make sure you get a comfortable couch. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It is killing me. I've never seen anybody eat one chip at a fucking time. <laughs> There's a bag full of a thousand chips. Do you see this? There's one chip being eaten at a time, no matter how big or small this chip is. It can be a piece of a chip. He's. And then we gotta go through the whole act again. We all have our thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I got better with it because I had to realize that uh, people have to eat. <laughs> people have to eat. I don't like any noises when you eat. It should be quiet. Put it in there. Close the mouth up. Did you always eat soft food? <laughs> Catch <Strong> that on the bowling. Don't crash. New office building for my management company. They're doing good. They're doing big things. They got a Jew and an Italian guy. They got phones now, right? Printers, copies. Come on, man. Let's talk gigs, huh? Dave's been on the phone all day. We're coming. Okay. So he would be the right person to talk to. All right. That. That, that's, that's what he's been doing all day? Yes. Okay. Good talk, Chris. Good talk. They said I should talk to you. This right. is why me and Dave get more along, because Italian black people don't work. Jewish black people, they pretty cool. Jewish black people? Y'all was hated on. We was hated on. See, I never actually considered Jews to be white. They're not. They're Jewish. But anyway, work, Dave. Work. That's what we need. I need money. You see what I'm saying? I do. Like, like my mom says, give that Dave, give that Chris a chance. I'm like, mom, I don't have them contracts yet. Give that Dave and Chris a chance. Okay. Next week. Mom, I ain't got those contracts yet. Give that Dave and that Chris a chance. Well, why do you not have the contract? I'm not saying that y'all not legit. Okay. But this snail motion to the hustle is just tough. It's not an art. I'm working on patience, but it's tough. I used to be a janitor. I used to be a janitor. And when I was a janitor, everybody there was content with being a union worker. When it was time for me to go, okay guys, I wanna be a comedian, they looked at me like I was fucking stupid. Like, what do you mean? You can get a pension when you're 55. Nah, nah. I'm gonna do stand up. It's gonna make me cry, it's gonna make me suffer. It's gonna make my faith waver, but I'd rather do that than clean up people's shit. That's just that's real. Or get a raise and be a truck driver and and and, and fucking salt the highways every winter. Nah, I'm cool. It's not nothing wrong with that, but I'm finally walking up to the pretty, pretty, pretty girl that I was always afraid to talk to in high school. I could never do that as a kid. I'm finally going, alright, I can do this. Don't doubt yourself. Just go. You know I'm talking to you today. No, I'm tired too. I'm not comfortable. All right, now you had 25.3 million sperm moving in motion. So it's good. Yeah. Okay. And 37 percent of them had rapid movement, and that's what you need to get pregnant. But here's where the meat and potatoes. Very high number of abnormal forms. Only 19% of the sperm looked normal.
I don't want to cry and I don't want to be like upset because I just I want to stay positive, but it's it's just one of those things that you we have no control over. It's a lot of waiting, like pee on a stick for seven days, then have sex, then wait, and then hopefully you'll get your period, and then get your period, and then pee on a stick, and it's very exhausting. Listen, you have to support me. How do you think I feel as a man not being able to get a girlfriend? You're hundred percent. You're healthy. You're beautiful. Your body's not that of a woman your age. So, if we have to wait another month, I, I think. I'm just like I just wish that it would just happen. Oh, and it's gonna happen. The rate of success after this operation is like 99. And it's like every month, like this is what happens. Like it's like you just you look for every reason, like you get nervous because every month is the same thing. Like. <laughs> Listen, let's just get this operation done. All right. This would be a moment to welcome the great Susan Sarandon to the stage. Maybe I should ask you a question, Susan, because I've been dying to ask you this. What is the enduring power that the film has upon the young and continuing generations? Why does it do that? Don't dream it, be it, I think is that, you know, at a time when you're in a place that you feel is really controlling and... A mouse just um, walked by. Um, that was just the excuse I needed to get the hell out of there. I needed some air. Why did you leave? You didn't... I could uh, only take so much. Also, there was a mouse that went by my feet. What do you mean you could only take so much? Um, because I was standing and, uh, yeah. so I had to go outside. It's not that I don't love watching Susan do a Q&A or be awarded. I love it. It turns me on. I love her for her success and for her talent. I do. I mean, I love her. Like, I, like I've spent five, over five years going to different award shows and like I've loved it but at a certain point it's now it's like too much for me I feel like this is my op my time like if, if I'm ever gonna be a success in the way that I define success in my mind or the way that I imagined as a kid growing up like what I wanted to achieve like that happens has to happen now as much as I love her and as much as I want to be with her, I need to firmly establish who I am. So you're going with me to Jersey uh, that week, right? Yes. I like that. If you're not on tour or you're not off doing some comedy stuff, and I don't want to get attached to you if I'm not going to see you in the next month. This, this is getting, okay, whatever. I just want to work and make money. I got to go get big, man. I want you to. Yeah. I want you to be successful. I want you to be big. But I just know that that's going to be a big wedge between us. Would you rather me be a couch surfer the rest of my life? No. I go out, work hard. Then I can buy an apartment that me and you can both stay at. Do you understand that? Not live with me, but you can stay for a while. Right? Until the next girl comes in so you can stay with her three days. What next girl? I wouldn't do that. But I don't want to look that far in the future right now. Can we just focus on what's going on right here, right now? This is nice. You have your legs on my knees and I like it. You have cute feet, by the way, which I will eat. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You are so stupid. Lick them toes. I will suck on them toes, Edge. And you have curly, natural hair. You love the hair. I love your I love hair. The hair huh? You smell like cinnamon and potpourri. All the time. Can we make love, please? Can we just <laughs> can we just start boning? Oh. No, because what happens is is that the problems get worse when you bone. They get more emotional when you bone. Okay. All right. It's 8 in the morning and I just 
took a pregnancy test, and from what this says, it says that we're pregnant. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I feel like it's, uh, I don't know what to feel. I don't know if I feel really excited or nervous or not sure. Don't get excited until we go to the doctor. Don't get excited until we go to the doctor. But it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> we might be parents. The worst parents in the world <laughs> award goes to... We're going to Mama Menino's, and I think we should tell her. No, don't tell her. I can't. I can't. You can't keep a secret. Look at you. I can't wait. We're not telling nobody. No. Best friend, no one. We made a pact. Tell your mom. We're pregnant. No. We went to the doctor today. <laughs> no, I wish that. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know Stefano's not broken, right? That's it. Oh my god. Your father looks scared. <laughs> yeah, babe, that's good. So you guys are not fighting. That's it. No, no fighting. I think there are kids who will look like us. We both have like big eyes and big noses. I love you so much. Here's a question for you. What? The Skype audition that I'm doing at six today, that's the thing that would be in LA. It's not happening. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? My pregnant wife is not going out. Why not? Do you think I want you pregnant to be under the stresses of being on TV? I'm not putting my wife through that. I love you. I love you too. How much? I love you a lot. How much? I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not. If I have the option, I will put you in a bubble for 10 months. What would you do uh, in right. a bubble? Okay, not let you leave the apartment for 10 months, but I know that that can't be. Things change in life. I'm sorry. Thanks for watching Connected. Make sure you subscribe to AOL Originals for all new episodes and exclusive behind the scenes footage.